What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant and you are watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news. First topic up on the nerd rundown is... James Cameron is popping off at the mouth. He's like right now, he's like one of those dudes at the bar that just gets drinks a little too much and gets a little too rowdy. He's like, come at me bro, come at me, I'm right here bro, right here, come at me. Cause that's what it is. He's he was out promoting his movie release of Terminator 2 in 3D. He's out there really uh, talking about it. And then someone asked him what he thought about Wonder Woman. This dude has a nerve to be straight up be like, it was good, but you know, he tries to get all high and mighty. As far as the movie goes, I think it's a step back. How, you know, it's just an example of how Hollywood is objectifying women. And, you know, with Sarah Connor, like, straight up low-key promoting his, you know, Terminator. Sarah Connor, she's not a beauty or a, she's not a beauty icon. You know, she's a, a terrible mother dealing with issues, but yet she, she earns the respect of the audience by going through trials and tribulations and stuff like that. I said, like, balls. Why? Because... You don't have to be going through a bunch of crap to be a strong female role model. You, you don't. Like, and just because you're beautiful doesn't mean you can't be a role model. In fact, Patty Jenkins, she replies back on Twitter, and she basically says, uh, With all due respect, I respect your work. I respect what you do. But shut the up. That's pretty much what she, she says that because she, she says that Women don't have to look ugly in order, like, just because they're pretty, just because they're being seen, like, showing their beauty doesn't mean that they can't be a strong female, you know? Like, in fact, it's crazy because he directed Aliens, right? With Sigourney Weaver. The first Alien movie had one of the most objectifying scenes with her. She literally stripped down to her panties and a tank top, a cutoff tank top at that. All I have to say is, people have been been like objectified. All like this is what the industry is. It's a world of pretty people. If you want to look like, all both men and female have been objectified. Look at Will Smith. Will Smith. I was just watching Independence Day just a couple of days, like last week. I didn't even realize, but there was a scene. He wakes up, you know, before he sees the spaceship. Dude's shirt off. I'm like, okay, I'm legend. His, sh his shirt's off. All right. Um, then there's Deadshot from Suicide Squad. Shirt off. At this point, I think this dude, I think Will Smith has it in his contract that he has to take off his shirt. Like, he legit wants to show off his, you know, I understand you work out or whatever, you want to show it off, but like, yo, I'm about to go through Will Smith's catalog and see if this dude legit, not, you know, no home, like, legit see if this dude actually takes his shirt off in every movie he's in. Because it's like, it's crazy. If you look at Marvel movies, you've got Chris Hemsworth, Thor, the first Thor, like, shirt off. You've got Chris, um, Chris Evans, Captain America. When he first turns into Captain America, dude's oiled up. He's greased the hell up. Showing off everything. He's shirtless. You know, you've got What's, what's the other dude? Chris Pratt. Guardians of the Galaxy. Shirt off. If you look through all these movies, men get objectified just as much as females. So for you to go like, oh, is it a step back? No, but the, I don't know what movie you're seeing, but you clearly missed the point. Because when I see Wonder Woman, and I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this much. That's my thing. Um, females, women are incredible. Y'all are incredible. I say this because... Y'all can grow this little mini me, mini you, inside you for months, and then pop this kickball size thing out of you. I've I've gone to White Castle, bought a crave case of fifteen, been in the bathroom, holding on to the side, crying. TMI, but you get what I'm saying. Us guys, I don't know if we could handle that, but yet y'all do. So, as far as females, he's missing the point. As as far as what that movie was about because when I saw that movie it had one of the most empowering scenes that I've ever seen in any movie where they were in the trenches and 
there was no man's land where no one goes across because the snipers on the other side will just kill you and then, then there's landmines and everything. Wonder Woman was like, you know what? No. Like, I'm, we're, we're not going to stay down here. <laughs> she climbs up on a ladder, slow motion, goes, that's what you've seen in the trailers. A, a rocket shoots, she hits it with the shield, flies off a bullet, she heals with the, with the uh, her, her bracelets or whatever. And she just goes straight across and they all see, that they, they get inspired. And then they go around and they take over. They go, they get past no man's land by a woman. You know, like, she shows, not just for women, for all people, the strength to stand up and do something when you feel it's right. When you don't want to stand back and watch something bad, and you just stand up, and that's what Wonder Woman was. It wasn't just empowering to women, it was empowering to all people, men and females alike. So, as far as what he saw, clearly he missed the point. And that's what Patty Jenkins was saying. But I do understand, he, he's, you know, one of those feminists, tries to be one of those feminists. People were, like, you saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, Gal Gadot was gorgeous. There's, there's no friend. She was. And then, granted, she was, you know, her, her sort of dress thing. Okay, she sold her legs. But she had, like, boots up to her knees. But at the same point, she's at Amazon. It's warm over there. That's, they're fighting attire. And it's functional. You know, you can't be having, like, these things are restricting you. When you're fighting, whatever, you need to be able to just move and be fluent. So, as far as the movie, James Cameron, this is what you need to do. That's all I'm saying. You need to respect it. Respect Wonder Woman because it's a lot more than what you claim it to be. On to the next topic. Matt Reeves, yesterday I talked about how Matt Reeves said, uh, you know, this Batman universe, I mean, this, this solo Batman film he's going to make is separate from the DCEU. Now, he's talking and like, whoa, I don't know where I'm getting all this flat from. I didn't mean that. Um, I just meant that the Batman movie that I'm making it's going to be uh, on its own feet. Like, it's going to be in the DCEU. It just won't have any of the people. F it won't be dependent on any characters from the DCEU. It'll be like its own solo story. And all I got to say about that is like, nah. Nah, bro. This, this, this phrase clears it up right now. I don't with you. This, that's what it is. Because you, what they call this, ladies and gentlemen, it's called backpedaling. It is called saying the stupid wrongs itch and then trying to fix it and clarify. You you've been in this industry long enough. You should know better than to say some stupid shit like that. You don't say, oh yeah, this that's like if you were talk if, if someone was talking with some other people and then the conversation comes out, oh yeah, I whip my kids ass every day. Every day. And then all of a sudden you're surprised when Dyfus rolls up or something like that. And they're trying to say that you're abusive to your kid. And then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean that. I, I literally, what I meant was we play Mario, I whip my kid's ass every day at Mario Kart. Like he can't beat me. I'm just that good. Watch what you say, bro. Because people are definitely, like, you need to think about what you say because people will take it the way it sounds. Anything you say... Right now, when you, this DCEU is very critical, P especially you're saying something like that right after, um, what's it called? Um, they're they're talking about uh, Martin Scorsese's talking about how he's gonna do a, a separate Joker film in a different universe, and then you say something like this. No, you should have been paying attention. You know what I'm saying? You're like DC. This is one thing. It's like, well, Marvel they don't make these stupid mistakes. They don't have the they don't have their directors saying some stupid shit like the, it, it's all work. The, Disney knows how to keep things together as far as what people say. So it's like they, maybe they just gave him a little too much freedom to talk and say whatever he want. Maybe he needs someone to watch over his words. But that's all I have to say about that because you should have known better, Matt Reeves. You should have known better because that was just stupid. You don't say some stupid ish like that. But on to the next next topic, which I don't know if it's really a topic. Pictures came out. Showing Robert Downey Jr., showing Gwyneth Paltrow and John Favreau on the set of Avengers: Infinity Wars, and they're talking about oh, oh, how the reunion is back together, and it's like, duh. 
I ain't gonna do the never cut the job, but like we've already seen you guys in, in Spider-Man Homecoming. You were already in there. So this isn't a, a homecoming. I mean, this isn't a reunion. This is like the people that were at the reunion that don't like the regular lives that stayed around a little too long. We're like, oh, um, you want you want to catch coffee or uh, maybe just you know hang out a little bit. You don't want this reunion to end because it, this is not news. You've already been in Spider-Man Homecoming, all three of you together. Oh, my bad. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. But yes, Gwyneth Paltrow is in there for a brief moment. So yes, it, it only makes sense with Infinity Wars that they're, they maybe they're going to be in it. Probably not huge parts, but they're going to be in it. So as far as that, non-news. On to the next topic. For people that haven't seen the show, Shannara Chronicles is great. It is great. I got caught on it by somehow when I was watching a YouTube video, a commercial came up and I'm like, oh, this thing seems pretty cool. It's, it's sort of like Lord of the Rings, but with like Twilight kind of thing and beautiful, pretty people because it's from MTV. And it looks like something probably CW, like The 100 or something like that. But I watched it. Yo, this commercial or trailer was like a preview, an hour, 20 minutes. I watched this whole thing and then... It went back to my YouTube video I was watching. That's how good it was. And so I watched the whole season one, and now they have season two trailer coming out. And it had, if you guys don't want to see it, or maybe you guys don't know who's in it, one of the main characters that might bring you to watch it is Emmanuel Bennett. If, if you know his name, he was in Spartacus. But for the people like us, the major Nords, he was an arrow. He is Death, Deathstroke. And he's going to be coming back in uh, season five or six of Arrow. And he's going to be a major part. He's actually going to be a regular on it. Like, he's going to be teaming up with, uh, with uh, Arrow. So, Oliver. So, if you... I say check it out. Like, just think about it. Check out Shinaro Chronicles. That's the name of it. Uh, season 1, watch it. Before Season 2 comes out. That's it for the Nerd, round today, uh, nerd, nerd Rundown for today. It's great talking to you guys. Hopefully, you guys got the information and the nerd news that, you know, you can kind of go and talk to your friends now, about now. And just make them understand. And hopefully, I've entertained you for this uh, video. And... I will see you guys next week with the daily videos. Um, over the weekend, remember, I do reviews of uh, Defenders and these other shows and movies that I watch. So, like, subscribe, Kickstarter, Patreon, down below. Everything's good. Remember, object uh, opinions are... Pers <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Opinions are perspective, as long as everybody is respected. Okay? Thank you. I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Sub, Urban Nerd. And you've just been notified. Catch you guys later.